ALA boxing president Michael Aldiger said yesterday he hopes a decision on how to resolve the impasse in the super flyweight division will be made during the WBO convention in Panama in October. 29 November 2 after two Filipinos, Donny Nieves and Aston Palacht, fought to a split 12-round draw to keep the throne vacant at the Forum in Inglewood last month. Nieves is ranked number one and Palak number two by the WBO in the 115-pound division. No formal word yet from the WBO, said Aldiger. Hopefully, during the convention, everything will be finalized. Since there is no closure on the Nieves Palak matchup, a rematch is likely, but it may be postponed to give way to Japan's Kazuto Ioka, who was impressive in outpointing Puerto Rico's McWilliams Arroyo in the forum undercard. The rumor is the WBO may sanction a duel between Nieves and Ioka for the vacant crown on condition the winner faces Palak in his first defense. Nieves trainer Adito Villamore said the ALA camp will abide by whatever is the WBO's decision, but if Ioka is the opponent, the fight should be in a neutral country like the US. I don't think it should be in Japan or the Philippines, said Villamore. Donnie's fighting for legacy. He wants a fourth world title. It got a little delayed with the draw. Both Ioko and Nieves are former three division world champions chasing their fourth crown. Nieves, 36, has held the WBO minimum weight, WBO light flyweight, and IBF flyweight titles, while Ioka, 29, was the WBC minimum weight. WBA light flyweight and WBA IBF flyweight champion. Nieves' record is 41-15, with 23 KOs and Ioka's is 23-1, with 13 KOs. Ioka had announced his retirement last December after a falling out with his father and trainer Kazunori over his marriage to Japanese pop singer Nana Tanamura. But Ioka unretired to beat Arroyo and set himself up for a showdown with Nieves. Even as a Nieves Ioka fight looms in the horizon, Palak, 27, isn't out of the title picture. His manager Jason Soong said, like Aldiger, he's waiting for the WBO's decision. Soon said his partners Roy Jones, Keith Velter and matchmaker Guy Taylor will attend the WBO convention to represent Palak. Our ranking is still number two, said Soon. We still plan to challenge for the belt. The WBO convention is later this month, and my partners are going to be there, so we'll probably hear more after. Dotsung said he thought Palak did enough to win the decision over Nieves. Aston executed a lot of what he trained for, but also Nieves didn't try to fight inside which is what we expected him to do, said Soon. I had Aston ahead by two, if you break down the rounds by the minute. But out of all the draw decisions, I feel like it was fair. Those that don't understand boxing just see the 12th round, but that's just one round and Aston didn't get knocked down. Nieves wobbled Palak in the 12th round and Villamore said he would have scored a knockout if there was one more minute in the fight. Judge Danny Sandoval scored at 118-110 for Nieves and Judge Robert Hoyle, 116-112 for Palak while Judge Max DeLuca had it 114-114. CompuBox stats showed Palak threw more punches, 830 to Nieves 523, but Nieves landed more, 194 to 124. I think there will be a mandatory rematch, said Soon. Hopefully, in the US again. In the rematch, we just need to tweak some things. Aston had zero welts on his face after the fight. Aston got into trouble in the last round. 
I believe any other boxer who wasn't in good shape would have gone down, but he was able to escape that. Palak called Nietzsche a great champion, but even as he was staggered in the last round, thought he deserved the decision. Nietzsche said he was never hurt, but felt Palak's power while blocking punches with his arms.